Jedi, are you? Close enough, I suppose. Welcome to the environment zone of M478. Your presence here is not authorized and will not be tolerated. Then you will die wherever I please. I am ESO5. You are not authorized to enter this zone. Then you will die wherever I please. I am ESO5 and this domain is under my control. You are not authorized to enter. And M478 will remain free after you die. Save yourself and depart immediately. That is not possible. I have no desire to communicate with you any further. The combat droids will escort you out.
How did you enter the second recharge station? How? All droids, attack. I am ESO-5, controller of the environment zone of M-478. This zone, I will not let you proceed. M-478 was allied with the Sith. I will not let his dictatorship return. All droids, attack. Listen well, Sith Lord. Perhaps you did not understand me. I will not surrender, and you will not survive. Your sensitivity to the Force is obvious, and the Jedi are dead. Therefore, you must be a Sith. Everyone knows the Jedi have failed us. They are surely dead, and you shall soon join them. Do not mock me or the Jedi with your lies. You will die, Sith. Why do the Sith do anything to gain power? This planet possesses immense resources and industrial capacity. But you know this already. I can and I will, just as I killed the other Sith. Your feeble attempts at deception would not fool a Gungan. Die, Sith. Thank <laughs> you. 
am the Jedi Master Ka Otuk. If you continue, I will happily slay you like I did the others. How dare you question me? We will see who is pitiful. I am in command of ESO-5. Imagine the power of all these droids combined with that of a Jedi Master. Flee, or I shall kill you. There are more Jedi Masters than you realize. Very well.
You just leave me alone. What have I done to you? Yes! And I would kill every Sith on this planet! I am a Jedi! So you came here from Korriban, Sith Lord? I suspected as much. It doesn't matter. You will die soon. Who do you call Padawan Sith? Did you not listen to me? I am Jedi Master Ka Otuk. Yes, that's true. I'm not a master. My master Vash is Padawan. And yes, we were on Korriban. And I'm sorry, Master. She died while we were trying to stop the Sith. We were bonded. I can't feel her presence any longer. What? No, no! She is dead! I have failed her! I should have helped her! It would be better than living on with my master dead! Leave now or I will kill you! Oh, I don't have to. We were bonded and I... Any longer. No, Master Vash is dead, I know that. And so will you be soon enough if you don't leave me. No, you will never get past me. And even if you do, ESO5 will never talk to you without my authorization code. No. Speak with organics. 
I will talk with you if you can convince him to allow it. Ka has forbidden me to speak with organics. I will talk with you if you can convince him to allow it. What is it? Hello, I am ESO5. I would like to thank you for freeing me. Not being able to speak without cause permission wasn't the nicest thing. I didn't try to stop him. At the time, I thought we were allies. When I realized what was happening, it was too late. Lona and Ka explained to me how the Sith tricked us and were planning to exploit the planet's resources. Above all, I serve the colonists that will one day arrive here, so I agreed to stop the Sith. The ships of the true colonists were meant to have ID signatures matching the ships that brought the droids to M478. Lona and Ka showed me how the Sith vessel's ID signatures looked, and when I compared them, it was clear that the Sith must have changed the ID signatures of their ships to match those of the droids. I do not know. You would have to ask them. Ka told me she was killed defending him. I don't have access to cameras outside of the environment zone, so I cannot confirm or deny this claim. I govern the environmental systems on M478. This includes wastewater treatment, air quality, and habitat creation. A droid's function is seldom glamorous. Environmental engineering saves more lives than all of the lightsabers and starships combined. Without clean water and air, nothing would survive. I believe to the Sith to be our lost colonists. It is my duty to serve the colonists in any way. Yes, I thought it would be good to have support from another Archon, but since M478's deactivation, I cannot contact him directly. The droid I sent to speak with him reported to the Sith and was destroyed. We tried again with another of IS-24's droids, but he wasn't very cooperative. Lona thought it best to destroy him before he talked to the Sith. Yes, Ka reprogrammed the turrets in the Industrial Zone to destroy I-101. The Sith ignored me once, but who knows what they could have done if I tried to persuade another droid against them again. To be honest, they did not pay much attention to me once they arrived. I imagine the Sith were more interested in making weapons than cleaning water. It is possible they thought that without support of IS-24, I wouldn't be able to do them any harm. They were wrong. Yes, I see IS-24 authorized it. I will give you my authorization as well. There is nothing I wish more than to see M478 active again. There is another problem, however. You cannot just go into the main behavior core like that. L565, the guardian droid of the central zone, needs to open the door for you. However, Lona and Ka, in order to get to the industrial zone, were forced to deactivate him. I do not know what they did to him and therefore have no clue on how to fix him, but the central zone's maintenance droid might be able to help you. I am sorry for the inconvenience. Remember that I am still an Archon. I will tell him to let you in. Just get him working again. Farewell. Official escort droid of the colony of M478 at your service. I have been programmed by the colonists to serve as an escort to any organic life form unless ordered otherwise by the colonists or any of the Archons. 
as you wish. Somehow, the power cores of these stations were removed. I only have two cores. Here, I can give them to you if you're interested. You'd need to find two more in order to reactivate L565, though. First, insert said power cores into the power stations, then activate the stations in proper order. Each station must be connected with the two power stations adjacent to it. When you activate one station, a connection with two others will be established. However, if you activate a station that already has a connection with some other station, this connection will be broken. Additionally, if you deactivate a station, all the connections that the station had will disappear too, for obvious reasons. What you need to do is have every station connected with two others at the same time. That will reactivate L565's logical algorithms and enable him to speak to you. L565 can only be deactivated by M478 himself. No, wait. Wrong. Let me start again. M478 is supposed to be the only one who can switch L565 off. That's why I still don't know how it can be that L565 has been deactivated. This whole setup for reactivating L565 was M478 and the Archon's idea. It was supposed to make it more difficult to reactivate M478's Guardian in case of attack. Personally, I don't see how it makes things any harder for potential attackers. Everyone with basic logic algorithms can do that. Talking about it's a really hard thing to do. I would have done so long ago if not for the lack of power cores. That is not that simple. The parts you have are not mine, therefore I can't use them. It's against my program. Even if I wanted to, I just couldn't. I would need my own parts, and I won't be getting any for another two weeks, M478's time. Good luck. What can I do for you? Killed, master. 
Calculations are incorrect. My calculations are fine. No, they are not. You have miscalculated by 0 0.0001. Such accuracy is not important. It makes a difference. Not noticeable, therefore not worth it. There is an organic life form behind us. Why don't you talk to her while I work here? Was something required of me? ESO-7's oversensitive processing unit could be referred to as a problem, yes. Did you mean KL-92's under-sensitive processing unit? Yes, ES is the standard designation for environmental units. However, droids on M478 use the two letters, two numbers designation system. That means you can create 100 units in a zone before you run out of designations to assign. Then you go with KL or some other letters, depending on a zone. I'm a newer unit. The previous ESO-7 was decommissioned, and I took over this designation. You were sent to maintenance for unscheduled inspection shortly before the radiation leak. It was unusual with another scheduled one next week, but we do what Archon orders. In any case, ESO-5 takes over our duties for time of maintenance. Do you think ESO-5 knew about the radiation and the coming battle? Maybe she sent us to maintenance to save us. How would she know about that? If she was aware of the destruction, she would have stopped that. Maybe she was hacked. An Archon? Hacked? You are being ridiculous. You can keep KL-92 busy so he can't mess up my work. Nothing right now. We were sent to maintenance for unscheduled inspection shortly before the radiation leak. It was unusual with another scheduled one next week, but we do what Archon orders. In any case, ESO-5 takes over our duties for time of maintenance. Do you think ESO-5 knew about the radiation and the coming battle? Maybe she sent us to maintenance to save us. How would she know about that? Maybe she was hacked. An Archon? Or you could keep this outdated piece of junk busy for a few more hours. Just an idea.
even know how many droids you have destroyed, how many systems you've damaged. How do you expect us to proceed after all the destruction you have caused? How do you expect us to keep the environmental zone operational? They were environmental droids, reprogrammed to fight. Even with extensive modifications, they could not inflict much damage. Environmental droids, not designed for combat. Which part do you not understand? Destroy the rest of the colony so there's no one left to care. Or what is it? Is it suddenly hard to destroy things now? Is dealing with consequences too much for you? I'm too busy to talk, all thanks to you. Dangerous chemicals have been released on the other part of this zone, closer to an Archon chamber. The two force fields beside me create a checkpoint station which separates one part of the zone from another. Between the first and second force field, a decontamination process takes place, deleting all trace of chemicals. Prolonged exposure may be deadly to droids. I don't believe it affects human tissue in any way, however, so you are safe. Certainly. One moment. You may proceed. Dangerous chemicals have been released in this part of the environmental zone. 
two force fields by side may create a checkpoint station which separates one part of a zone from another. Between the first and second force field, a decontamination process takes place, deleting all trace of the chemicals. Somebody has to let the maintenance cleaning and construction droids in here. Besides, this chemical substance is only dangerous after prolonged exposure. I leave for decontamination treatment every now and then to ensure my survival. Thank <laughs> you.
So the news is true. Humans are populating this colony again, but I have to ask you some questions that have been going all over my circuits lately. Am I allowed to do so? I have been performing my duties the best I could for over 60 years since we, droids, arrived on this planet, never questioning our motives. But ever since the colonists' arrival and the deactivation of M478, I began to wonder, where did we come from? Why are we needed? Who made us? But I want to know. I want to. I will go back to work as you ask. Good day to you. M478 guidance is necessary. How may I be of assistance? again, organic life form. It is good to see you indeed. How may I help you? This whole area has recently flooded with radiation. Whether it was an act of sabotage, an attack, or merely an accident is currently unknown. We lost contact with the environmental zone at approximately the same time. All our colonists in the central and industrial zones were killed, as you probably heard already. Then you arrived. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that is the problem. They did not work for quite some time, so now they should work better to get back on schedule. It is not important. Your work is not as critical as mine. Was that a threat? That was a threat! I demand you improve my cleaner's efficiency! I'm out of here. Disaster.
Behavior Core 2 is open for you. Behavior Core 2 is open for you. take you to every zone in the colony, central, industrial, and environmental. I have been probed as you wish. 